Hi everyone, it's Miss Vines again, and I'm coming at you today with another video. And this video is going to focus on coronavirus. However, it's going to be a story um, and pretend as if coronavirus wrote it himself. So if you give me just a second, I'm gonna share the screen with you all. Okay, so remember, this is coming from coronavirus himself. So he says, hello. I am a virus, cousins with the flu and the common cold. Have you guys ever had the flu or the common cold? I know I have. It can be yucky. My name is coronavirus. This is written by Manuela Molina. I love to travel. Here he is, he's got a suitcase and he's traveling the earth. And jump from hand to hand to say hi. So here he is, he's giving you a high five. Have you heard about me? I'm gonna make the assumption that most of you guys have heard about coronavirus. Um, and we're gonna say, yes, we have heard about you. How do you feel when you hear my name? Does it make you relax, confused, worried, curious, nervous, or sad? What are you guys feeling? I know sometimes I get a little bit worried and nervous, and that's okay. Whatever feelings you're having in regards to coronavirus, I want you to know that those feelings are okay. Coronavirus understands how you feel. And here he is, he's asking you to draw it here. So I'm gonna give you guys um, the files so that your parents can print this out for you and I want you to draw how you feel on this person. He would feel the same way. Sometimes adults get worried when they read the news or see me on TV. Here he is, he's got a microphone, he's on TV, maybe he's seeing an American Idol. And here he is eating popcorn, he says, that's me. But I'm going to explain myself. So here he is. He's going to tell you all about coronavirus. So you can understand when I come to visit, I bring difficulty breathing, a fever, and a cough. But I don't stay with people for long, and almost everyone gets better. Just like when you get a scrape on your knee and it heals. So guys, have you ever had a scrape on your knee? And about the amount of time it takes for your knee to heal um, is about the time it takes to recover from coronavirus. So he's saying, bye-bye. But don't worry, the adults who take care of you, and that can be your parents, your grandparents, your brothers, your sisters, your aunts, your uncles, whoever is taking care of you is gonna make sure they keep you safe. You can help by washing your hands with soap and water while singing a song. You can sing your favorite song, the happy birthday song, the alphabet song, whatever you choose, sing that song and wash your hands thoroughly for at least 20 seconds. You can use hand sanitizer and let it dry on your hands without moving them and count to 10. So he's saying put hand sanitizer on your hands and count to 10. Once they're dry, you can get back to playing. If you do all that, I will not come to visit. While the doctors work to find a vaccine that will allow me to say hi without getting you sick. And what he's referring to guys is, you know, we have a lot of vaccines such as the flu vaccine that, that keeps you from uh, getting sick. And so the doctors right now are working really, really, really hard to help find a vaccine so we can keep people from not getting sick. And we want to thank those healthcare workers for all of they're doing right now because they are on the front lines and they are helping all of our family and friends remain safe, happy, and healthy. The end. So here he is. He gave you a COVID book, a pencil, and some coffee. So guys, I know coronavirus can be scary right now. And I know you're feeling a little, maybe a little bit of anxious and worry. Um, however, I want you to know that those feelings are okay, but use those coping skills when you get really upset or really scared, whether that be journaling or coloring 
or listening to music and more importantly talk to your parents or the your caregivers the ones who take care of you talk about your feelings draw your feelings um, because you have to remember we have to get those feelings out because what happens when we don't talk about our feelings we get they get bubbled up inside of us and at some point maybe they'll explode and then we get really mad or really angry and so we want to make sure we talk about those feelings um, and more importantly, stay healthy, stay safe, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer, and make sure that if you go outside and you're around other people, that you keep that distance between you and the other person, okay? Okay, guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to me, okay? I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you. Have a good day.